Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T, and today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the re-release of the Yeezy 350 V2 Core Black and Red, or Bread, or whatever you wanna call it. You know what I mean. Okay, so today we are going to be reviewing the re-release of the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in core black and red colorway. Now this is not the re-released version, this is the original version which I actually managed to cop in 2017, which seems like an absolute eternity ago. So let's unbox it and start talking about the shoe. Okay, so this is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the core black and red colorway, or is sometimes known as the bread colorway. Genuinely, this is one of my favorite Yeezy 350 V2 colorways that exist out there. It's just so simple, but striking at the same time. I love how the contrast of the red and black work so well together. They were extremely limited when they released in 2017. There's not many of them going about. And actually the resale value of these sneakers up until quite recently was still around five, six, seven hundred pounds here in the UK. Now, quite recently, these have actually tailed off on the resale and now reselling at about 350 pounds. So the news of this re-release has hit resellers quite hard. So what I've heard is that there are gonna be 500,000 pairs actually releasing worldwide on December the 5th, 2020, which is hopefully gonna give half a million people the chance and the opportunity to cop a much sought after pair. Now, even here in the UK, I have seen these appear on pretty Pretty much every sneaker website I can imagine, including places like Foot Locker, which kind of generally only get the wider releases anyway. So this is gonna be pretty much, not gonna say easy to cop, but this is gonna be a relatively easier cop to make than some of the others. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just talk through the sneaker as and how I see it. I know this has been out for a long time. I know this is a bit of a way of doing a re-review, but you know what? I think it's useful. Starting with the outer sole and a little bit of a disclaimer before I show you the outer sole, it is a little bit dirty because you know what? I wear my sneakers. So on the outer sole, you have this really recognizable design of the Yeezy Boost 350, which has the exposed boost on the heel and towards the front of the foot. Moving to the midsole, you then have a very standard black color that goes all the way around. In certain lights, and I think in daylight, you can actually see that there's a two tones in the midsole. Kind of the bottom half of the midsole is slightly lighter and then the top half is a bit darker. Moving to the upper, you see the Yeezy Supply 350 on the side in red stitching. And that is really, really recognizable. A lot of the early 350s V2s had that particular design feature. Obviously now that's gone and it's kind of replaced with a kind of plasticky strip, which a lot of people don't like as much as the originals. I personally think that the stitching and the prime that used on these original 350s is a bit nicer. It's a bit softer as well, and a bit more gentle on the foot. What's also quite nice about this 350 is that you have the heel tab at the back, which is in the black and red, which is really reminiscent of the pirate black or the V1s, which was the kind of association back in the day. So I've actually laced these sneakers in a, a kind of relaxed style, which I know a lot of people do with their Yeezys, but I actually prefer this not only because of the looks because it also gives you a little bit more flexibility and room for your foot so I actually get a more comfortable experience by lacing this way in terms of design features that's pretty much it. it is just a black shoe it's a black sneaker with some small red detailing on it there's not really much else to say about it it's just a very very nice colorway okay so I'm gonna stop talking about these sneakers I'm gonna start putting them on my feet and giving you guys a couple of different looks and styles I would love to hear what you think so please drop me a comment down below you should applaud this, you can't afford this I'm living a dream and my mind is a fortress Wait for the chorus, isn't it gorgeous? Hit them with precision, boy, we making them forfeit Of course it's a lot to contain, we got to refrain It's getting even harder with the bots and the fame We chase with a vengeance, facing amendments Eyes on the necklace, it's due for a pendant Damn, feeling like the man of the hour But no one man should have all that power Now we're getting somewhere till we get stopped Get popped, pumping some gas up at the pit stop Damn there's something we can do or are we running out of time? Are we victims of ourselves or did somebody cross the line? It gets cloudy sometimes and I don't know what to do. I can't see as 
just cloudy. It gets cloudy sometimes, and I don't know where to go or who to be. It's just cloudy. It gets cloudy sometimes. I don't know how to move. I can't breathe. It's just cloudy. It gets. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed those different looks and styles. For me personally, it's been a while since I've actually rocked these, uh, so I quite enjoy putting them on again. Uh, I think I'll probably get a little bit more wear of these over the winter months now, especially as they're being re-released. I think from a comfort and style perspective, um, they are like every other Yeezy Boost 350. Obviously the Prime Knit, as I said before, is a little bit softer, so it's a bit more comfortable on feet. In terms of sizing, I go for half a size up on the Yeezy Boost 350 V2s. I know some people go a full size up, but for me, half a size is just right. In terms of cost, these are releasing at £179.95 in the UK. As I said, on the resale market at the moment on places like StockX, it's currently hovering at around 350. I'd imagine once we get the 500,000 pairs into the market, that price will probably drop a little bit. Yeah, overall, like, it's one of my favorite Yeezy Boost 350 V2s. As I've said, like I love this shoe, I love wearing it, and I'm happy that it's being released. So uh, if you're able to cop them on December the 5th, good luck and hope you enjoy the shoe. Okay, so that's it for me today. I've been Matt Rideout, this has been Kings Down Route. If you've enjoyed my video, then please drop me a comment and a like down below. It means the absolute world to me. You could also follow me on Instagram up here. I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>